It's January 20, uh, 2018. I just looked at some news. That beloved, uh, wonderful, great President Donald Trump, he was the first president ever, ever, ever in the history of the United States to speak at a March for Life uh, event, which is uh, pro-life, anti-abortion, uh, mostly Christian event, March for Life. So Donald Trump is the only, 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 only president to go there and speak. Uh, and of course, Mike Pence is in it, with it fully. But uh, Donald Trump's the only one to go do it because all the other idiots before him, Obama, abomination devil, uh, Bush, all of them would never go and speak there because they didn't want to be, um, you know, uh, some of them, Bush and someone, some of them said that they're against abortion to some degree or whatever like that. But they would never put any action to it, you know. They would, they would, they would say to try to get the Christians on their side, the evangelicals and the Christian huge voting bloc on their side. But he, they never do nothing. They just talk, you know. And, um, and, and the other ones were flaky about it. But uh, Donald Trump's the only one that's doing action. He, he says and then he does, which most politicians do not do that. So if you don't like Donald Trump, you're an idiot. You're a devil worshiper. You're deceived. You're a fool. You're an antichrist idiot. You're a child of the devil, First John, because you don't walk in love. Look here. You're not a Christian if you would vote for Hillary Clinton. If you did vote for Hillary Clinton, you're not a Christian. You're deceived. Jesus said, don't be deceived. Jesus said, Matthew 24, the biggest problem in the last days is going to be deception. And um, you cannot vote for uh, a Democrat and be a real Christian. You're deceived, I said. You're an idiot. You're a fool. You're a liar. You're a hypocrite. You're a Judas. You're a, um, you're a murderer. You're an antichrist. First John says, there's many antichrists plural already here. First John says, by this you know the children of God and the children of the devil. Whoever walks in love is a child of God. Who does not walk in love is a child of the devil. So if you think you're a Christian and you would vote for Hillary Clinton or you did vote for Clinton or you would vote for a Democrat or Sanders or whatever, or even some flaky compromise in uh, any candidate that's pro-abortion, if you vote for them, you're a devil, you're a witch, you're a liar, you're a hypocrite, you're just, or you're just deceived, or you're fully evil. If you are, if you think sacrificing a human innocent, innocent, innocent baby is okay, if you think murdering an innocent baby is okay, you're a devil. Your conscience is seared. You're deceived. You're uh, First John. You're a child of the devil. Judas was was on Jesus' team. But he was, a, he was a devil, and he yielded to the devil for flesh and money. So these women want to go out there and be uh, out of control, perverted, you know, lustful swine dog, and go out there and fornicate or commit adultery, whatever they're doing, and they don't want to own it. They don't want to have responsibility. They said, oh, well, they'll kill their own, their own baby. Innocent blood, the shedding of innocent blood curses a nation. It's also heavy witchcraft. And if these women are going to go out there and be in the flesh and follow demon spirits of lust and fornication and walk in the flesh, they shall die, not their baby. And so, uh, but they go out there and kill the baby and want to say, okay, uh, I don't have to be, resp well, they're going to go to hell one day. Thank God. But um, unless they repent. But they just kill their own baby and, and say, hey, no worries, I'll just keep living like hell. And so that's got to stop because that curses any nation, the shedding of innocent blood. But it's also heavy witchcraft and heavy Satanism to shed innocent blood, especially like a baby. And so Hillary Clinton gets her power from the witchcraft, from her own involvement in a Satanism and witchcraft and the occult. But when Hillary Clinton or any other Democratic person uh, votes to keep abortion going, 
to allow abortion or and, and even late-term abortion, but to, to not stop it when they want to fund it and not stop it and keep it going, those people get in their power, their position, their political position, their whatever, from the devil. The devil told Jesus, if you fall down and worship me, I will give you all this stuff. So people in the occult, they sacrifice animals and humans. They give the blood to the demon, and the demon gives them stuff, power, money, positions, so forth like that. That's how it works. I've been all over the world, lived in India, lived in Indonesia, been all over the, all over the world, Africa, South America. I know how the... The occult people work, because if they said so, some of the ones I've talked to that come out of that and became Christian, they said, this is exactly how it went. And it's in the Bible, in the second Kings, uh, this king uh, in, in an army uh, war battle, they were, the Israel was, was beating them and putting their back to the wall. And so the enemy king sacrificed his son up on the wall and everybody was shocked and appalled and just, just freaked out and everybody went away. And so his, he, his sacrifice of his own child got demon power to put a stop to the, and even Israel went away and the battle was stopped. And so, uh, you know, Pharaoh and uh, Herod, uh, when they, they, they were trying to get demon help by uh, human sacrifice and innocent blood, it's in the Bible, but that's how those things go. So Hillary Clinton is a witch and she, and any, any uh, politician that's pro-abortion they claim women's rights, or women ought to have a right. Well, what about the baby's rights? What about that, you devil pigs, you witches? The Bible says, do not allow a witch to live. I'm so glad that God's going to judge it, going to judge these witches, these evil people. And the time changed, 5778. Seven, the times are the times and seasons have changed. Now God's coming down with severe uh, judgment. The severity of God is being revealed, you see. The people didn't respond to his goodness. Now they're going to see the severity. He's going to... He's going to put them down. He's going to, in, in, in every level, he's going to take them out. In any means possible, God himself will be taking these people out, exposing them. Some are going to jail. Some are being wiped out, just like King Saul, just like Judas, just like, uh, what do you call it, uh, Herod was eaten by worms. You're going to see Ananias and Sapphira action going on. You're going to see a lot of heavy, heavy, the judgment of God that comes. God says, I kill and I make alive. I, God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He does not change. He says, you ought to fear God. Look, it's a ter terrifying thing to fall into the hands of the living God. You're going to see the anger of God. You're going to see the wrath of God revealed like never before. And he has had it. It's up to here. God's had enough. He's going to say, okay, watch. Boom. You're going to see the severity of God. You're going to see the judgment of God, especially in the area of abortion and the occult and the rebellion and uh, all the communism, socialism and, and rebellion and, uh, and, not, and, and, and rebellion to authority, lawlessness. God's going to judge it more severe. He's going to clean house. He's going to cleanse the land. He says, my people call by my name, humble themselves, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways. He says, I'll come and I'll cleanse and heal their land. Some of the cleansing of, the, of America is going to be the evil people. The occult people, the evil politicians, the Democrats, the socialists, the communists, the occult people, the, the abortion people, the, all the, 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 the evil, the, the criminal, the unclean, the ungodly. God is going to destroy them and just cleanse them out. And we're going to have a, a, a new nation wherein righteousness dwells. Bob says we're looking for a new heavens and a new earth where righteousness rules and dwells. And it's going to happen on earth as it is in heaven. That's not up in the by and by somewhere out there. It's right now. And it's coming. Amen. Keep interceding. Bless Donald Trump. He's a real thing. You know, some of these stupid Christians, some of these pastors, I see them, uh, especially in the black church, you see them on TV, you see them on YouTube, you see them, they're, they're mouthing off against Mr. Trump because they're listening to the news, they're listening to CNN, they're listening to ABC, NBC, fake news that's run by the devil, that's antichrist by the prince of the power of the air, and they're lying, they're slandering President Trump. They're lying, they're not telling the truth about him. Look at his true record. You know, giving jobs, um, gonna, you know, you better build that wall. Um, you you got to keep evil people out. People can come in legally. That's it. Mr. Trump is a real true Christian. He's born again. He's filled with the Holy Ghost. He listens to Holy Spirit filled uh, pastors and leaders. No other president has done that. The other presidents went to uh, Presbyterian church or what do you call it, Anglican or uh, Episcopalian church and all that mess like the Bushes and hey, it's, it's dead. They, they were Catholic. They were dead denomination and cessationists. But Mr. Trump filled with the Holy Spirit. He listens to Holy Spirit filled people. Radical. He listens to uh, David Hogan and, and Rodney Howard Brown and, and uh, just great people. Holy Spirit filled people and ones you don't even know about. And, 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 he, and there's some Holy Spirit filled people up in the high positions of the Pentagon and the government. 
filled with the Holy Spirit. Real patriots. Mr. Trump is a real patriot. He hates communism. He hates socialism. He hates all the wickedness and the new world order. He hates the antichrist system and he's fighting it. Some of you people are so stupid. You call yourself a Christian, but you vote for the Democrats. Why? Because you, you, you've been duped and deceived and your mind has been taken over by communist ideas. Uh, your, your mind and your heart. You, you, have, you like socialist concepts. Uh, like, oh, you poor little thing. Oh, you poor little... Yeah, really? Look at... Look, study about communism and socialism. The same way they took over uh, Cuba and, and um, uh, China and uh, Algeria and these places. Same way they tried to bring the mess into America. Communism is satanic. And, and, and all the Democrats are communists and socialists. Their whole system is trying to turn America into a communist socialist system. And Mr. Trump is stopping it. They're trying to bring him into the New World Order. Uh, try to merge with the, the European Union and all these things. So you people that are Democrats, you're deceived or you're purely evil, you know? And, and you're going to vote for uh, a, a, a Democrat that, that's pro-abortion? You're going to vote for murder? God says, thou shalt not murder. You're going to go to hell as a murderer for your help in murder. Uh, you're, 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 uh, all, this, all this other satanic mess. You are not a real pastor. You're not a Christian if you are a Democrat. If you vote Democrat, if you vote for pro-abortion, if you vote for murdering innocent children, you're not a Christian. You're deceived. You're a devil. You're an idiot. You're a fool. You need to repent or you're going to go to hell. Now, if you won't repent, you deserve to go to hell because murderers should go there. Amen. And, and all you people that are trying to ruin America with your stupidity and your pity party and your victim mentality by being communist, socialist, by voting Democrat, uh, which is the Antichrist system. Democrat is the Antichrist system. Uh, some of the Republicans are evil and wicked too, but, but there are, there's more good ones in the Republican than, than the Democrat. And the Democrats, look at their fruit, look at their track record, pro-abortion, pro-communist, pro-socialist, fighting the church uh, against, um, you know, the Christians, um, just tax, 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 regulation, all this interference, trying to become like, like a communist, socialist, trying to become like stupid European Union. That's destructive. That is stupid. But um, pure capitalism works if there's godly people in it. And so, um, but anyway, you're not a Christian if you vote Democrat. You're deceived or you're a devil. You're a liar. You're a hypocrite. You're a Judas. And God's going to remove you. God's going to curse you, expose you, curse you, judge you, destroy you, unless you repent. Unless you repent. Watch and see. You don't like it? You don't believe me? Good. I'm going to laugh when I hear about you or when I see it happen. Amen. All you prophets of Baal and prophets of Ashtaroth, prophets of Jezebel that are fake Christians and fake pastors that vote Democrat and believe so uh, socialist, communist, pro-abortion, pro-murder, all this mess. You want to take other people's wealth and give it to you because you're lazy or you're in sin or you're, in, you're a mess, you're in rebellion. Uh, look, you're a devil, you're an idiot. God's going to destroy you and remove you and cleanse the land. Look here, if you would wake up and serve God, read the Bible. I mean, I'm talking about if you claim to be a Christian. If the Bible says if you obey his commandments, God will raise you up. He will cause these blessings to overtake you. God will raise you up. Nothing can stop you. doesn't matter what color you are, how old, what race. Uh, it doesn't matter all that. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm black, I'm brown, I'm red, I'm purple, I'm green. I'm a, the, other, the people holding me down. This, no, 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 no. That's, that's not true. I, I know people from Africa that come to America. They see what a blessing it is. They see all the, the freedom and opportunity. You work hard. You don't sin. I'm talking about Christian people. Christian people. They live right. They tithe. They offer. They're not sinning. They, 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 they work hard. They work smart. They're led by the Lord. They come up. Man, they're so blessed. And you got people over here saying, oh, the system's holding me down. They're drinking, they're smoking, they're in sin, they're in strife, they're in evil and wickedness, doing occult things, living crazy. No, the, your sin and rebellion is why you're being held down. So if you, you want communism and socialism to let you stay in your sin and rebellion and feed you and help you out and be sure that you go to hell. Sometimes you're suffering and you're poor and you're down to try to wake you up like the like the stupid idiot over there in the, the pig pen, the prodigal, uh, he was having a hard time, so he'd wake up, and uh, even like Nebuchadnezzar out there eating grass in hard time judgment, so you, one day you wake up and say, I need to go back to God, I need to repent. 
when you repent, God will raise you up. Nothing can stand. It doesn't matter what color you are, what race, or where you're at, or where you live, or where you're from. If you keep, that's what the Bible says, and I know people all over the world, in India, in Africa, in, 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 in Cambodia, in, in Indonesia, North, South America, all over the place, in these so-called hard places. Doesn't matter how dark your skin is. I see these people come up, 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 and become great and strong and mighty. Because you serve God, God can, God will bless you, Deuteronomy 28, and nothing can stop it. So you're your own problem. So you want socialism and communism to, to, to come and help you stay in your cursed condition from your sin and your rebellion. And that's why you vote Democrat. Because you're a rebellious, rebellion is witchcraft, you're a witch. Like Saul. <laughs> you're a murderer. You want, you're pro abortion. You're pro blood sacrifice. You're pro uh, uh, killing innocent, shedding innocent blood. You're pro murder. Yet you, you claim to be a Christian. You're not a Christian. You're deceived. Look at the fruit of your life. You need to repent and get real and get right. So Donald Trump has come. God sent Donald Trump to save our nation. Our nation was sinking and sinking and sinking because of stupid Obama. And if devil witch Hillary Clinton got in there, she would have drove this thing off the cliff and destroyed it, brought in like a new world order, uh, a, a tyranny system, like, uh, you know, Nazi Germany, like North Korea, like uh, Venezuela, uh, this type of a system. It would have been wicked crazy, man, like old, old, old Russia and so forth like that. Old China uh, it would have been destructive. And uh, thank God that God sent President Donald Trump God Almighty sent President Trump to save our nation and his, his, the good team he's put together. Now, if you are lawless and you rebel against the authority, Romans 13, God will destroy you. Romans chapter 13, if you re resist the authority that God has sent, Donald Trump and his people and police and sheriff and good people, if you're rebellious and lawless, the times have changed. If you don't know it, watch what happens to you. Lawless people, rebellious, you're going to be exposed Caught and destroyed. The Bible says in Jude and 2 Peter chapter 2, you shall be you are made to be caught and destroyed. And you will be. The times have changed. God is coming with judgment. The severity, the severity, the severity of God. The severity of God. The, 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 the severity of God. The judgment of God is going to take you out and cleanse you. A witch shall not live. A rebellion shall If you speak against the leader of your people, you shall be put to death. The Bible says don't speak against the president. Don't speak against the leader of your people. Not just a pastor or a whatever or a high priest. He's talking about even the president. Paul said, I didn't know that that was the leader. For it is written, thou shalt not speak evil, disrespectful against the leader of the people. That's from the Torah, the books of Moses. Again and again and again. Honor your father and mother. Well, a father of this country right now is President Donald Trump. If you don't honor him, you shall be put to death. Honor thy father and mother that it may go well with you and you live long on the earth. If you, if you disrespect President Trump in, in the slightest way, if you disrespect and dishonor President Donald Trump in the slightest way, God, you, you're not going to live long. It's not going to go well and you're not going to live long. And you're going to hell if you don't repent. Amen. God sent President Donald Trump to save America and he's doing it. Yet these crazy Democrats and some of the... Uh, uh, the, the, the Republicans that are just as evil and wicked, who knows what they do behind secret, you know, secretly, uh, uh, adultery, fornication, wickedness, occult, who knows, uh, you know, what, what, what wickedness they've done that, uh, or they've just sold out to the devil, the New World Order system, and they don't want Trump to expose them or cut off their gravy train. But the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. God expose you. There's nothing that's done in secret that will not be made, that will not be revealed openly. Whatever's done in secret is going to be shattered from the rooftops. All oh, you evil politicians, ungodly, wicked ones, God judge you, God see you, God curse you, God rebuke you with the severity that you've never seen before. The severity and judgment of God is coming. Boom! Just like it, it always has. Rome is gone. Assyria is gone. Uh, old... Uh, what do you call it? Old, uh, you know, uh, all the old evil kingdoms, old Babylon is gone. Rome is gone. Old Greece is gone. Uh, Nazi Germany is gone. All the evil, wicked things that were powerful for a while, they're gone. And now God's going to take you out. Because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And God is the Lord, by the way. You are not God. You humanist. You atheist. You communist. You socialist. You, you occult person. 
you know, you, 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 whatever, devil worshiper, witch. God says, do not allow a witch to live and a sorcerer and all that stuff like that. God is watching over his word to perform it. If it's not done through people, God himself will kill you and wipe you out. He killed Herod. Then he killed the other Herod. He's eaten with worms. He killed Ananias and Sapphira. He killed Judas. God, uh, all through the Bible, killed Saul. Had it done, whatever. Or, or, or turn you over to a reprobate mind or turn you over to hell. God, if he lifts his hand off you, hell will kill you. You better wake up. It's a new time and a new season. Time of severity. God is judging and destroying lawlessness, exposing and judging and destroying lawlessness. God is cleansing America from evil people and fools. God is setting down some, removing, setting them down, and putting up others. God is going to put in good leaders that are Christian, that are righteous, that are patriots, that love America, that love truth and, and righteousness and godliness and God's ways. And all you other ones are going to get run over or splattered or you're going to get destroyed. The Bible says so, and God is watching over his word to perform it. He's been patient, 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 patient. He says, boom, now watch me stand up and act. Watch what I do. Amen. So if you vote for Democrats, you're not a Christian If you, because Democrats are pro-abortion. If you are pro-murdering innocent children and shedding innocent blood, you are not a Christian. Hello, you stupid pastors that vote Democrat, that you're communist, socialist, little pity party. God's going to expose and remove you too. First, he's removing and exposing and removing the evil politicians. Then God's coming after you evil pastors. You're next if you don't repent. You're dust. You're, 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 you're done like Saul and Judas and Ahab and on and on and on and on and on. You're out of here. I'm going to laugh. It's good. Enough is enough. People trying to ruin our wonderful United States. But enough people have prayed and fasted and repented and called upon God. God's coming to help us. And all you wicked ones are going to be destroyed. Amen. If you don't repent and be a real true Christian, you're out of here. Amen. Bless Donald Trump. Love him. Pray for him. Bless and honor him. Real, wake up. Don't be stupid. Realize. Look at his fruit. He's from God. Look at his fruit. Look at his actions. But if you're demon-possessed, or you have a reprobate mind, or, 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 or you, you know, you're, you're cursed, or you're blind and stupid and foolish, and you can't see, and you're, 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 you're bad, you're a goat, you're, you're out of here, you're, you're on your way to hell, and there's no hope for you, unless you really, really fight to repent and wake up, but um, we love Donald Trump and his family, we bless him and his administration, we pray for him and Vice President Pence and all of his wonderful team, God, protect them and bless them and honor them. God, destroy their enemies. Expose and destroy their enemies totally, fully, in the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua. We honor and bless and love President Trump. We honor, we bless, and we love Amer the United States of America, the greatest mission-sending nation, the gr greatest in in intervention nation that's ever been, the friend of Israel. And um, amen. This nation is going to be saved. Hallelujah. It's going to be great again. It's going to be wonderful. A friend with Israel. And uh, maybe America and Israel uh, are a national uh, 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 of the two witnesses we see in Revelation. Who knows? But anyway, uh, we bless this uh, President Donald Trump, real true Christian. If you that don't like it, be destroyed, be judged. The book of, the, the, the Bible's going to happen. You know, the, the, heaven and earth will pass away, but God's word will never pass away. You can't fight the word of God. It's the ever alive and active. It's the living word, you see. And, and, and nothing's going to pass, heaven and earth pass away. The word will never pass away. If you fight the Bible, you will be killed and destroyed and put in hell forever. You will be cursed. Your life will be cursed. Amen. Um, so, so repent, get real, get right. Respect authority, love and thank God for President Trump and his people. Honor them, pray for them, bless them in every way. Respect them, obey the leadership. Romans chapter 13, obey authority, submit to authority and obey the authority or you will suffer. You will be, have, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Romans 13 and other scriptures about God judging lawlessness. Amen. Re rebellion is witchcraft, and, and you will not live. God will not allow a witch to live. He will, if you, if, 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 the Bible says if you're rebellious to your parents or the leader, leadership, you shall be put to death. 
So you're gonna everything in your life is gonna die. This thing in your life, death, 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 till finally this physical death. So if you don't honor President Trump, it will not go well and you will not live long on the earth. If you disrespect and speak evil, all you people on TV, you fools on TV, if you keep speaking evil of President Trump, God's going to kill you. You're going to die. The Bible says, don't speak evil of the leader of the people. Whoever does so shall be put to death. The Bible says so. The Lord will watch over his word to perform it. The word is alive. And it, it, bring, it comes to pass. God or the angels of heaven will bring it to pass. You mark my words. January 20th, 2018. These people on TV that keep mocking President Trump, uh, these stupid actors or so-called comedians, but especially people on newscasters and then some of the politicians that speak evil of President Trump. Watch them start dying. Watch them start getting cancer. Watch them start getting mental illness or whatever because of the judgment of God that the Bible warns about. It said, if you do this, you're going to be judged and killed and destroyed and thrown in hell. But if you do right and you do these good things, you're going to be blessed. So if these people are in rebellion and evil, and, and, and the Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. Do to President Trump as you would want done unto you. If you don't do this, you're going to be destroyed. Amen. We bless President Donald Trump, his family, his administration. We honor them. We respect them. We help them. We work with them in every prayer, fasting spirit, soul, body, thoughts, words, actions. We support. We work with to save America and thereby hinder the Antichrist system in the whole earth. Amen. This is good teaching. Send us an offering. Loving Life, Loving Life Ministries, int.com. Int is for international. Look it up. Loving Life Ministries, int.com. And also calledbeyond.com. This is good teaching. This will wake you up to truth and a reality so you're not deceived by all the stupid fake news, idiots, prince of the power of the air, deceived fools. Give us an offering. Do the right thing. Loving Life Ministries, int.com. Calledbeyond.com. We'll see you later.